Stop. How do you do this? <laughs> Mom, don't leave me here! <laughs> My Look at gosh! Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really special guest with me. He is an extremely talented singer, songwriter, musician, podcast host even. Just an all around cool human. Eric Nam, everyone. Hey guys, how are you? Congratulations, you're finally Insert the applause sound effect yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so today, obviously we know you're great at music, but we want to test how good you are at drawing. <laughs> Here's how it works. We have around 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to be drawing you and you're going to have to sort of follow along <laughs> while we're chatting about you and life and all of that. Are you ready? Are you uh, nervous? Let me just, like, I know you're asking how good of a drawer Eric is. Yeah. I'm amazing. Oh, okay. Confident. I have a nickname. What it's is that? Ecaso. <laughs> I'm actually terrible. I'm the worst. Like, it's... If you had to rate Wait, your skills I... out of 10 right now. Oh, like negative nine thousand three hundred. Okay, I feel like I feel like we're gonna be able to up that a little. Hey. You know, I'll teach you. It'll okay, be fine. Okay, so I just copy you. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, you'll follow along. I I believe in you. You got this. Uh, thanks for believing in me. Not a lot of people did. <laughs> so I mean. Uh, <laughs> Okay, right. so we're gonna start off. We have a pencil here. Yes, we do. And we're gonna go in with like markers even. So All right. we're gonna get fancy. We're gonna get detailed. Yes. I'm about it. Let's All go. All right, let's get started here. So with every good drawing, you know, you gotta start off with sketch. Oh, I Actually, don't know that. Before we begin. Do you see what I did there? That's a circle. This is a <laughs> potato. It's a circle. It's a suggestion of a circle. There you go. You fixed it. All right. You saved it. Do you have any facial features that are very distinct to you, maybe that people comment on a lot, because when you're drawing, you know, I gotta accentuate that. No, I'm average, guys. <laughs> no, uh, just like an average just face? Just average okay. uh, big ears. Big and, ears? Okay, um, we will We will definitely give you some yeah, elephant that's ears. that's like, that's about it. People think I had plastic surgery on my nose. Did Never it? happened. Love Nothing. That. Nothing. Honestly, this I'd be a lot better looking natural. if I probably did, but no, it's fine, and I'm okay you with it. You don't need it. So. Okay. Well, perfect. Haters. So we, <laughs> we'll draw the perfect nose and the big ears then. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start sketching. <laughs> Aren't you doing my face? Yes, this but is like why the base draw... sketch. This okay. is the base sketch. Eric, you're here to learn. I mean, I I just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> All right, so you're here in Toronto, actually about to go on to a show. Yes. So it's crazy that he's like here sketching right before yeah. the show. But have you had a chance to like at least explore Toronto a little bit? Uh, no. No. I I one of my my videographer photographer Bobo was like, hey, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna gonna. <laughs> it's this, hard to multitask. How do you do this? <laughs> uh, he was like, we're gonna go like eat something and like mm -hmm. go check out some places. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I'll just go. So we just walked around a little bit. Did you notice anything particular about Canadians or Canada? Uh, it's cold. It's cold, yeah. <laughs> very cold. I'm very sorry about that. No, I mean, it happens. Like, that's kind of life. Like, that's just the way it is. Like, places yeah. are cold. Um, I. It's very diverse. That's what I like about Canada. I Have you had the lowdown on how to pronounce Toronto, though? Toronto. Toronto, yeah. Toronto. That's how you can tell whether you're a native. Toronto. Toronto, yeah. Toronto. No. Toronto. 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 <laughs> well, now that we're like in thick of things, we have like sketch going on. Okay, yours so is a I'm little... just gonna go ahead and say that <laughs> yours looks more proportional. I look a little bit like Spock. It's. I feel like it's savable. It's long though. My head looks really long here, so <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of. Uh, You're good. Of uh, hair to add <laughs> to my sketch here. So when I was looking up sort of your journey into becoming a musician, mm -hmm. I really related a lot. I feel like we went down really? a similar path. Oh, Almost. did we? Yeah. Cause okay, do share, please share. Yes. So actually, you should share first to, okay. to the viewers who are sort of unfamiliar. Like, how did you, because you started in Atlanta, yeah. um, you went to college and was going to be a consultant and all of that. Mm -hmm. How did you end up like in Korea singing? I'm sorry. <laughs> does not look like me at all. <laughs> I see the resemblance a little. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I was born and raised in Atlanta um, and I went to Boston College and I graduated 
uh, with a major, a BA in International Studies, oh, wow. uh, Political Science, and minor in East Asian Studies. I always forget that I had that, but <laughs> I did because my major and my work does not apply in any way to anything that I do. I do have to say, wait, why is yours round and mine is like, I have the biggest jaw in the world. <laughs> I mean, you should ask that to your hand. You may I have, have an unsteady hand. Okay. I feel like he's doing pretty well, actually. I feel like I look like Voldemort. <laughs> Interim check-in. I think we're doing well, but we're going to go in actually with the markers now. Like this? Yes. Trust me, it'll turn out well. With this type of stuff, it's better if you just like pretend it's stylized. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is amazing. Anyways, so... Trust me. Yeah, I went to I, I went to Boston College, graduated, and then I had a job at Deloitte Consulting, um, being a strategy and operations business oh, analyst. Yeah, can, this side is nice because oh, you can like man. press thicker if you want. Like, oh, wow. yeah. Okay, so what are you doing? We're just we're just like outline? outlining. Yeah, we're gonna okay. add like the details. You know, as we talk about These the details such, of your life. Such fancy marker oh, pens. Oh, we have high budget here. Yeah, yeah, not like the most of my stuff. My <laughs> low budget. We low budgeting all the time. <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I went to, I was going to be a consultant at Deloitte, but before I started my job, I asked for a year off because who doesn't do that? Th right? that's, this is the part that I related to because <laughs> I actually, right after school, I took a year off and that's oh, when you the did. YouTube thing started. Ah, and like, see, all of that. there you yeah. go, you get it. Um, so I took a year off and what do people who take years off naturally do? They go to India because <laughs> who doesn't? Right? It's like a casual India right. trip. I went to India to nice. be in like a social entrepreneurship fellowship kind of thing. Okay. Um, and I was there for a few months and then I got hit up on via YouTube. I was like, hey, do you uh, want to come to Korea and be on this audition program? I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So yeah, I went and I got fifth place, quit my job, signed a record deal, record, deal, record, record label <laughs> deal. And um, became an artist. So you really like overnight, it was just like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was in span of like a year okay. of the show, of the TV show, of the signing, like nine months to a year that happened. But yeah, um, did that. And then after like a year and three months after I had started the show, I had my first album out. And then it was me working in Korea doing stuff. That must have been so scary. Like at that point, did you know Korean or was you? My Korean was awful. Was how did like, you even survive that? I really don't know how I survived. Like people, were like oh, you must have been fluent. No, my Korean was horrendous. Um, so it really, like, I learned through. For, oh my god, I just messed up my nose. <laughs> the nose is always the trickiest part because if you mess up, you look like insane. You know, we're doing well. Honestly, I thought you were gonna do a lot worse than that. Trust me, the hair will save it because right now it's bald. I also have like the highest cheekbones. <laughs> I don't. I mean, kind of accurate. I don't think yeah. I have cheek, but okay, whatever. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, so that's what happened. And then um, I learned Korean by being on variety shows all the time, and I was having constant panic attacks because like I didn't speak anything, so I was like always nervous. Oh my god, I can't even. So it was like that. purely out of survival that I learned. Okay. And um, now I'm here, drawing myself. <laughs> drawing yourself. Look at both of us. We I know. Took We're a year just off. really yeah. just living the life. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is the peak. Um, so then, mm -hmm. transitioning from, I guess, a hobby, essentially, mm -hmm. into a job, has it changed your perspective on music, or have you thought of music differently now that you're in the industry? I mean, for me, I was never trained, right? and I've never had lessons, and I've never, nobody teaches you how to write a song. Right. Like, you just kind of pick it up, and it just kind of comes, um, or it doesn't, but I luckily uh, kind of picked it up, and think if there's anything there was a point where I was like oh music was fun it was a passion project mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it's like oh this is your job get this album <laughs> in and you're like oh this sucks the pressure too yeah so like I think when you add pressure to anything it's yeah. different like yeah the, you, I'm sure you started YouTube as like for sure just like a, hobby. a hobby and then you're like oh I have to do 50 videos a week like oh that suddenly sucks. there's people who are like waiting for right. this right yeah. and like yeah. I have a patreon and if I don't get this up like yeah you know it's just it's different and so yeah. Um, there's obviously that, but I think that's with anything creative, anything mm -hmm. that you do as a passion, like there's always that risk. And I need to know, like obviously, you have Korean parents. Mm -hmm. Did they have the typical like Asian parent, immigrant parent reaction? Because mine definitely like freaked My out. My parents 
Well, my mom, my dad was like, yeah, do you do your thing. My mom was like, you're insane. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Literally my parents too, yeah. She's like, even till like two years ago, she's like, when are you getting a real job? Oh yeah. Uh, my parents are like, oh, when are you going back to school? I'm like, yeah. um, My mom's always never. like, she was in Korea, it was like three years ago. She's like, so people like know you? I'm like, yes. <laughs> she's like, people like you? I'm like, yes. Why? What when do you I, think made them like turn around or like support? I think it was, I mean, I, I was on TV so much and then I was doing tours around the world and mm -hmm. um, my dad's always been supportive. It's my mom who's been like, you need to get a real job. Right. Um, and I think, whoa, time out. And yet, <laughs> what happened? I can't even follow you. <laughs> Suddenly you have hair now. He's not bald. Except he's In bald Voldemort. <laughs> Um, so it took a lot of, you know, convincing and mm -hmm. proving myself and now they're supportive, but like they were definitely not the most yeah. supportive. Yeah. It's and like, where was this energy like four years ago, guys, right. right? And I don't, I don't blame them. Yeah. But like, you know, you just kind of got to prove yourself, I guess. It's, I mean, it's harder too, because I feel like they didn't grow up seeing any like Asians sort of in that right. field, well, right? We, I didn't either. Well, yeah, same. So. Like, so I never thought this was possible. Right. And it is possible. It's crazy. Obviously now we're getting more Asian American representation, Asian representation uh -huh. with like Parasite. Right. Um, all the amazing K-pop groups that are killing it. But I think you're in a little bit of a different situation because you're like Asian American in like the North American music industry side mm -hmm. and you're like singing English songs. Right. Which I feel like not that many people are doing, especially mm -hmm. like Asians, you don't really see that. Right. So what's it like navigating almost like the two worlds and like you must uh, feel sort of caught yeah. in between, right? I mean, it's confusing and it's not, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's easy because People think K-pop and they have like an expectation or right. like a preconceived notion of what you do. Like manufacture. And, and yeah, and that, like yeah. to a certain degree, yes, like I am K-pop because uh, that's where I started and mm -hmm. that's where I've built my career and my fan base. But like at the same time, I'm distinctly American mm -hmm. and just Western. And so I think people get drawn in for different reasons and people generally identify with the K-pop side. But then once it's easy for people to say, oh, but he does all this other type of right. stuff that's just like anything else on the radio. And that's where it's interesting. Um, and that's where I think it's cool to be able to try to do this crossover thing, or not only want to say crossover, it's like reverse engineering. Yeah, because you kind of came yeah. back. Yeah, but back at the same time, phone. I mean, like, why do I have to reverse engineer? I feel like we should have had the same opportunities totally, yeah. from forever ago. Yeah. But it's just now that people are like, oh, Parasite is cool now. Like, <laughs> BTS is cool now. Like, K-pop is cool now. Like, yeah. Yeah, but we've been doing this forever. Totally, Like, yeah. we've been here. Like, so you guys are just getting aware of it. Yeah. So let's make the best of it. And right. I think it's just a moment where we have to prove again you yeah. know, that we are capable, that we can do this. Because there's not as many, so it's almost like you have to be the best, even though... Yeah, yeah. like the standard is so much high. Like, it's yeah. just really high. And not to say that's a bad thing, it's just, you know, until Other we... Other people don't have to deal with that. Yeah. Until we prove it, like, it's just not a real thing. Right. So I think I'm on that journey. Mm -hmm. I'm not on it alone. There are a lot of other really talented artists that are doing the same thing, and mm -hmm. I... I don't think it's a zero sum game. I think we can all do great things together and I'm really excited to see how people kind of do it. Okay. It's exciting. Speaking of your first like fully English album. Yes. Before we begin, mm -hmm. I have to say, love the album. It's like my really? favorite. I mentioned actually a song in my previous video and all of the nominations really? was like, I love Eric Nam. Thank like, you. That's why we're here today. Yes. So it's really awesome. Thank you so much. My that favorite means song is, Which is Love Diane. Oh really? Yes. Thank yes. you. Um, but we're gonna like add a bit of decoration Wait, here. I'm not done, bro. <laughs> you gotta keep up. This is the whole point of the video. But this we're adding like before we begin. Possible. In terms of like this album, did you work on it any in any different way in terms of like the process since it is like your first fully English uh -huh. project or? Uh, like well, I would say that because it is like the first English project. Like mm -hmm. typically when I write my music, I write everything in English. And then I go back and I have to translate it back into Korean. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, or like redo it all. But this time I didn't have to do that. So it was great. Oh, you're great. just chilling in your native like, language? Yeah, I was like, this is easy. <laughs> and I felt like the story that I was telling in every song was a lot more uh, true to the original story. Because right. usually like things are always gonna get lost in translation. Like yeah. there's no way around there's it. There's no like exact word yeah. for everything. Right? So um, it was a lot, easier in that sense, okay. like not having to do all that extra work. 
And Why does yours look so much better than mine? I'm like almost done here. You gotta I add in the final details. <laughs> but I need to know, what was your favorite song to write? What's your favorite song to perform? And what's your favorite song to Ooh. listen to? Because I feel like they're all like, can be different. Okay, favorite song to listen to right now is How Am I Doing? Favorite okay. song to perform is You're Sexy, I'm Sexy. Because I think it's hilarious. You're sexy, I'm sexy. Yes. You see everyone screaming <laughs> that to you? <laughs> well, that and the people just get super into it, and so yeah, it's fun. I love that. Um, the most cathartic to write was like Love Die Young. Um, okay. And it was pro it's probably the most personal and vulnerable song on the album. Mm -hmm. um, and then Congratulations is also it's a, a really just yeah. fun, yeah. fun one to do. Yeah. So, what did you do? Come on, Eric. We gotta, we gotta finish it up here. <laughs> Sheesh. What in the world? <laughs> I like how you have like a, yours looks like you're I have glaring. Such, yeah, like, oh, I'm so pleasant. I'm like, F. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I think you do that's like really awesome is that you don't just stick to music. You have like podcasts. Mm -hmm. You've done a ton of interviews before with amazing people. That I have. Um, and it's just, I think it's really interesting because a lot of people like just stick to music and try to uh -huh. do like all of that, right. only that. Right. Um, but now you're sort of like on the flip side. I imagine now that you have like this full album, you're being interviewed a lot more. So yeah. Have you found, is there anything that is like a pet peeve in terms of interviews because you've been on both sides? Pet peeve in yes. interviews. You know, honestly, I think, uh, I think it's always down to the interviewee, mm -hmm. right? I don't, I, I feel like uh, most interviewers go in with the sense of, I really want to tell a great story. I have like really great questions and I wanted to have a great conversation. I truly personally believe it's up to the interviewee to bring the energy to match okay. that enthusiasm. It's easy when you're being interviewed to say like, I've done 15 today, I'm exhausted. It's yeah. always the same question, yeah. but you never know. Like yeah. every interview is different. Every person has a different like objective or like some angle they want to bring. And like mm -hmm. for me as an interviewee, it's to let them, that interviewer, do whatever they want oh, cool. um, and kind of trust that good intention. Yeah. Um, so I think the pet peeve would be when an interviewee walks in and he's just, he or she is just not Done. into it. Okay, and he's got just it. like, I don't wanna be here. I'm got like, it. I honestly, <laughs> I don't at times yeah, don't wanna be either. here either. <laughs> like, it's like the job, right, you know? Yeah. But like, let's be professionals. Okay. And I think that's kind of it. So aside so, from that, I'm, yeah. like, I'm cool. Well, Gosh. look at us. You're almost I there. I feel, first of all, hold on. Well, this is your chance. I'm, we're at the last question here. This is your chance to put your final touch. Look at all these colorful oh my we gosh. have. Oh my gosh. Now, I am not going to be leading you. You can add whatever you Mom, want. Mom, don't leave me here. <laughs> Son, I'm releasing you into oh. the wild. All right, well, you yeah. know. You can I add do. your final touches. Oh my Look at all gosh. This. High budget. So many options. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to do a little. I like greenery. I like shrubbery. Oh, shrubbery. Yeah, yeah so we're going to add like a, a little green in it. the background you know? <laughs> actually just a fun question i yeah, know you were on masked singer i i've been on that show multiple times multiple times oh i know that twice i only saw the one where you were broccoli <laughs> 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 and i'm so curious about this show because uh -huh. i think it's such a crazy concept and now they're doing like an american version right they, they have an american yeah version. so i mean maybe you can be on it now that you sing in english i mean i would love to but I'm totally down do they get to do you get to choose your mask like i need to know whether you know broccoli oh no they just give it to you you show up and like this is your mask i'm like what <laughs> is this shrub and they're like it's broccoli. shrubbery it's shrubbery that's yeah. why i have green here if you could uh, choose your mask though like what would you choose uh if i could choose my mask i would be what would i be i want to be like an epic avenger i would be oh no oh. i want to be Groot. Groot. I would be Groot. St still in the, the tree theme. Yeah. Got it. Um, <laughs> okay, well, so. Eric, this looks great. Um, this looks great. <laughs> you can this... show the audience your beautiful drawing of yourself. Congratulations. Since this is a masterpiece, mm -hmm. if you could sign it at the of bottom. Of course. We're actually going to do a giveaway for nomination, and one of your fans is going to win this drawing of you. I mean, okay, let me just say this. This is a piece of art. I think it deserves to be hung in the gallery. If I see this on eBay, I will come <laughs> after you. This is like okay? Eric Nam, but like Mona Lisa, you know? Look, oh my God, oh, look at me. 
it's following me from every angle reading into my soul your mind yeah oh sheesh <laughs> so yeah if yeah. you guys want a chance to win just be sure to follow us on instagram and make sure you do keep it up. do it do it i actually do have a gift for you oh thank you for your wow time. thank you you did not need to bring a gift thank no, you so I much no i did because these are canadian Shit. snacks to welcome you what are we these? have tim hortons as well and this is um, my planner oh have, you have a planner yes with all my drawings in it so oh can, like, wow plan thank, your tour this life. is such an intense planner she's tick yeah i'm thank you it's 2020 <laughs> doodle course. planner I uh, thank you. I'm gonna have to get me some of these markers. All right, so we have to sign out now. Do you want to say my sign off? With what, okay, me? teach me your sign off. Sorry, we I say, need to put these away. Yeah, I get distracted you easily. After. We say keep doodling. Bye. Okay, that's well, it. Well, actually, yeah. First, where can they find you? All yes, um, I have. You can find me on Instagram at Real Eric Nam. I have YouTube videos where I do random, random things, and you can find my music and my performances at youtubecom Nam. Where else can you find me? I have a I have two podcasts. Two podcasts. On Dive Studios. Dive Studios, you, there's video and there's podcast and all sorts of great things happening. Just type my name in, guys. It's Check the it out. internet. You should be able to figure it out. We're going to sign off now. Guys, how was it drawing? Pretty good, right? It was great. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching Eric Nam draw Eric Nam. And we're going to see you next time. So ready? Keep, Keep doodling. doodling, guys. Bye! Bye. <laughs>